So voting is right around the corner. And by that, I mean tomorrow, for me at least. Now, yeah, today I'm talking about an AI version of Martin Luther King Jr. that endorsed Donald Trump. I I'm going to show you a bit of that, and then I'm going to come back and, and say how that doesn't make sense at all. Once we say enough from every mountainside, let freedom ring. We recognize that Donald J. Trump kept the promises he made to all Americans. And we will vote for Donald Trump as our president. And we will fight beside him to make America great again. We will not allow the American dream to die. So yeah, I showed you a bit of it. It's like 2 minutes and 53 seconds. I don't know if I showed all of it. But here's the first thing. Um, Martin Luther King Jr., he he was the main guy of the civil rights movement, right? You know that? You paid attention in school, right? Why the fuck would he endorse Donald Trump? The racist man who wants to arrest all immigrants and has no policies that would help African Americans at all. This guy is as white and as racist as you could possibly get. Everything Trump is aiming for is going to be for the white Americans. He's he's gonna he's gonna push for those people. Which if you don't know, that's bad. Because there's more than just white people in America. But Trump most definitely does not want it to stay that way. Also, Trump not too far back ago said he was going to use the military on, on radical leftists in the United States. Now, before I continue, I do have to tell you guys I have one question at the end of this video. And if you do not want to watch all of this, skip to the end and, and see my question and please answer it in the comments. I would love to see people answer that one. So other than Trump having no policies to help anyone else but white people, besides the fact that this AI video is completely fucked up and <laughs> is trying to defame the whole reason why this man did the civil rights movement, there's so many things to unpack. Like, MLK was a socialist, which means he was pushing for socialism, which is basically uh, big industries belong in the hands of the workers and not private businesses. So. Tell me why he would even think about looking in the direction of Donald Trump, the capitalist, racist guy who said he read the Bible but actually didn't and only cares about what white people think of him. Tell, tell, me, tell me why Martin Luther King would even look in that man's direction. This is probably, this is, I'm thinking about this now, this is probably my most political video I will upload. I'm just kind of scared, you know, just being nervous and all, but... One of my friends shared this quote with me, which made me rethink about uploading this video. It made me want to upload this video. Our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. A quote directly from the man himself. Now, back to the AI-generated video. Is there gonna be more things like this in the future? It's scary that that is a big possibility, and they'll also probably get a bit better because... It's AI and it only gets better. I mean, not creative wise, it, it, it sucks. It's awful, it doesn't have any creativity of its own, it can't create something new. But it is scary of what it's being used for here during an election time. Like, yeah, this guy would say this. Do one lick of research and you'll figure out the opposite. Uh, Cause like if you search up Donald Trump's name just flat out, you'll probably get a ton of information about his crimes that he's done. And no, don't argue in the comments like, but Martin Luther King Jr. was arrested and he's being arrested. They, they must be similar. No, this man was arrested for wrong reasons. This guy was arrested for uh, fighting back against racists and getting his own rights for his people. Donald Trump was arrested for legitimately awful things. So if that's an argument you have, fuck off. So yeah, you can easily find out that Donald Trump has done tons of terrible crimes in the past and is probably continuing to do them. But he also loves Israel, loves to be allies with those people. As I say that, I got a itch of something. Just, just one moment. This is gonna be my most political video in the world because I'm gonna drop so many opinions of what I think politically wise. Maybe I'll get buried in the analytics and the algorithm and never be seen again by YouTube, but I don't care because Look at that quote, guys. Yeah, Donald Trump loves Israel. He loves that. He loves the genocide that's happening right now, the, the killing of children and women and men. He loves it so much. Now, tell me why this guy would like him. Like, think for half of a second. And anyway, you can... 
you can find out so much more by one simple Google search. Like how he hates immigrants, like I said before. How he's a liar and um, goes back on his word. There's so much you can learn from a simple Google search. You have the entire human knowledge at your fingertips right now. If you do not want to do a simple Google search, chuck whatever device you have out of the window because it is of no use to you. Anyway, at the end of this, some people might be saying, okay, white baby, we can handle ourselves. We don't need a white guy coming in here. I know I just got a bit heated is all, guys. Don't mind the white baby making a video on this, my most political video yet. I might have left some things out. I've been smashing thoughts together because I know so much about this. I, I don't even know where to start. I just threw a bunch of stuff out at you guys and hopefully it makes sense and it's, and it's, you can actually hear what I'm trying to say. But uh, yeah, I'm calmed down and now I can ask you my final question. Would Martin Luther King Jr. endorse Hitler?